Step 2. Creating the parameters. Choose the File, Libraries and Objects, New Object, Menu command. As you can see, the default subtype of any new object is Model Element. Since we are now creating a table, we need to modify the subtype to fit our desired object type. Choose the File, Save As command to save the file. Give it the following name, extension underscore table underscore h98.gsm in the Save dialog. Click the Select Subtype button in the Library Part Editor window to bring up the Subtype Hierarchy dialog. Select Model Element, Furnishing, Table, and click the Select button. The default parameter list of the object has changed to Table. As you can see, many new default parameters appeared on the list of parameters. These parameters can be divided into three categories, 2D representation parameters, material parameters, and parameters for listing. We are going to use several of these parameters, and we will also create some new ones. Go back to the floor plan, and activate the 7.3 Object Parameters Saved View. The view shows what kind of parameters we want to create for this table. The parameters starting with GS underscore string are built-in parameters that are coming from the table element subtype. Using these default parameters has the advantage of having a standard parameter set when creating object libraries. Another advantage is that when transferring parameters from one element to another, the maximum number of parameters will have their values transferred because these parameters exist in both library parts involved in the parameter transfer. The parameters not starting with GS underscore are the ones we will create for this object. Go back to the editor window and create several new parameters. When the number of parameters increases, it becomes necessary to be able to do some sort of organization among the parameters to subdivide them into categories that make them easier to use. The editor window has several options which helps you in achieving that. Select the table underscore type variable and click on the two pointed arrows at the left end of its row. Drag the parameter by this arrow to the position below the parameter AC underscore show 2D hotspots in 3D. With the use of the two pointed arrows, you can move around any parameter in the list of parameters to any desired location. Drag the show underscore insert parameter to the position below the parameter table underscore type. One by one, drag all of the other four created parameters to the position below the parameter GS underscore back underscore pen in such a way that their order remains the same. We moved around these parameters so that the two most important ones will be at the top of the parameter list, and the 3D representation related parameters come after the 2D representation parameters. Click on the Type button of the underscore 3D underscore representation parameter and look over the types of parameters that are available. The title parameter type is used for grouping. It is always in bold type. In our case, we used the underscore 3D underscore representation parameter as a title for a group of additional parameters which belong under it. There are four more toggles to the left side of each variable in the parameter list. From left to right, the first three are hidden toggle. If you switch this on for a parameter, the parameter will not be visible in the parameter list, and the user of the object will not be able to directly set its value. Subordinate Toggle This switch causes the parameter to be listed below the next non-subordinate parameter above it in the list. Use this toggle in conjunction with the title parameter type. Bold Toggle You can make any parameter bold in the list with this switch. Unique Toggle If you switch this toggle on, the parameter will not take parameter values coming from the default settings during a parameter transfer. Select the thickness underscore top parameter in the list and click on its subordinate button. Repeat this operation with the pen underscore top 
and pen underscore leg parameters. Save the object and go back to the floor plan view. Select the object tool from the toolbox and open its settings dialog. The settings of the extension underscore table underscore h98.gsm file will be visible. In the parameters panel of the dialog, click on the right pointing arrow to the left of the 3D representation text in the parameter list. Here you can see the effect of the subordinate toggle. Since you switched the subordinate toggle to on for all three parameters, they are now shown as sort of subparameters of the parameter immediately preceding them. In this way, you can neatly organize your parameters into logical groups. Close the setting dialog and go back to the editor window. Open the parameter script and type in the following code. With this command, we have set the two possible values for the table underscore type parameter the user will be able to choose from, as we learned in the previous chapter. Go back to the editor window, select the table underscore type parameter, and click the right pointing arrow at the right of its value field to check if the two possible values are now available.